see how people enjoy this. It's very cathartic. Relaxing. Thing. Very relaxing. It's yeah, tricky. If you think you hit like a mud spot or something. Well, it's not even that deep over there. So that there, that's a grub. That's about an eighth of an ounce jig head. I'm gonna start you off with that. Just get the feel of the cast. All right, so we're just gonna work slow. So you're just gonna kinda, are you familiar with a, a spinning reel? <laughs> like I said, uh, explain to me like I'm seven. This is my first time. <laughs> all right. What you want, um, well, this is, this is a spinning reel. So basically, you see that? That's the bale over here. Mm -hmm. Right there, that's the bale. Get your right hand and kind of hold your line up there, just like that. My, you can use a finger, like your, your, your index finger. Right. Now your left hand, you're going to open up the bale. Just like that. You got it. This is... So we got Peter set up. That's a 1 8 ounce, 3 inch grub. This is his first cast. <laughs> Since I was a Boy Scout <laughs> decades ago. I'm gonna I'm gonna be throwing this just to see. We're gonna see if something's here. If not, we're gonna check out maybe find some fish. So I'm gonna take a cast, show you how it you know what I do. Same thing like you. Just the the index finger, you know, just like that. Put the bail. That's a little wrapped around. So it might not cast too. Just don't worry about that, okay? Don't worry about that. It's fine. So like usually you kind of go overhead, but over here just kind of take it easy. And these reels are oh, really forgiven. And just give it a little flick. Just yeah. Oh. You can you can hit the stars later, but and just kind of yeah. Oh, okay. Let it drop. And then when you crank, to take a turn. Or you can flip the bail. I kind of like let it go down to the bottom. See if give it a couple twitches. See the line kind of drop down, drop up. It's gonna see the water's moving, like mm -hmm. the current, kind of swinging, swinging through. And just kind of give it a couple reels, and then just kind of crank it a little as it comes through, just like that. So, got the first cast down. So we'll try a little bit, bring it in. Right, that's actually, I'll be babbling. <laughs> but the fish, they actually like structure. Like I, I would like take casts like just, oh, not like that. But even like along the side, right? Like yeah. close in, yeah. Just so they'll hang right on the side there, especially at dusk or in the morning. Afternoonish like now, it's a uh, you know the siesta time. Yeah, but it is a nice drop. So this is Peter. Hello, from Mr. Petey's Auto Detailing, mm -hmm. and uh, he does like all kinds of things. Do you do auto repairs too, or nah. oil changes? Nah. No, just just mobile auto detailing. Mobile auto, and it works just spectacular. Probably gonna, it does Paint engine, correction. interior, exterior, engine bay cleaning, engine bay cleaning. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Is he... Oh, oh, you got the tree. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Seriously? That's, yeah, that's all right. That's all right. That's a tree. That's all right. Oh, God damn it. Was it bouncing before it got in the tree? Because if it was, there might be something on. Yeah, I, I, got I think it was bouncing. Let me see. Yeah. Tree? Yeah. Why is this one so shiny? Oh, they're, they're kind of like, they like kind of flashy. I like a lot of different colors. Um, so I'll carry like the silvers, the golds, and stuff like that. Nice. But um, it kind of has that, that sheen shutter in the water, like that scaly, shiny, irresistible look. And the fish kind of sees that flash kind of, you know, flick it in the water. And then they might be like 10 feet away or up on the bottom. And boom. Boom, they come up for it. All that glitters ain't yeah. gold, baby. <laughs>
That's the that's a Rapala. That's a Rapala. And I kind of would work that the same as the grub like a day like today, slow and low. There you go. You find that that cast better that rod? Uh, it feels a little better, better casting it, okay. yeah. And I'll look out I'm for like ripples and just motion on the top of the water. And I'm not, you know what I mean? If I'm not seeing that, and then light goes, you know what I mean? I'm like, yeah, is it happening? Are the fish here? What are they doing? It's kind of like, I'm not, you know what I mean? I'm looking for signs of active feeding fish. And actually what I'm doing in the meat, you know what I mean? We're throwing grubs, we're throwing the rapalas, which are really excellent winter baits. Um, we're going to catch something if they're going to be there and active. And that's what we're looking for is like active fish. What we're doing right now, not so important because we can tune that out. You know what I mean? If I see they're getting that, that's why it's great that you're here. If, if they're hitting, like, like I said, I have a, that's an eighth of an ounce. It's fairly deep here. Grub. And Peter right now is throwing. That's the, uh, it's two and two and something inch wrap sinking countdown wrap a minnow that was a leap that just fell yeah. so we don't get anything on these you get big and small fish we'll move on so we got hung up there going to retie another grub so you go through just go through the eye of the hook i bring that up you do five turns. This is just a clinch knot. Two, three, four, five. And I'll go back through, back through again. See, see what I did? Mm -hmm. And you can tighten it there, but it's not as strong. But you want to go through that other loop again. And you should moisten the knot before you do it. It'll slide easier. Or after. And I'll kind of get it soft and you moisten it. Grab the tag in, put your teeth, whatever teeth you have left, and just tighten it down. And then give it a snip with the... We're going to give it a cut this time, not a snip. <laughs> <laughs> with the old multi-tool. There we go. Oh. There we go. Put the tag in, in your rubbish, and you're all set. So try this side here. Ooh, that sun is beaming down a little. Yeah. Nice. That's the way to do it. Oh. You had one? Yeah. That was a big one, too. That... There's a rooster tail. A good wintertime bait too. Just working through all different stuff. Just looking for active fish, really. It's uh, but probably dusk, so we got to check out a few more spots. Tying up here. Tell us something about detailing. Hmm. That's pretty good. Mine's kind of all off. right. That's a good thing. That's uh, that's why we're fishing. I like that's, that's what I wanted to hear. I like that. <laughs> can't think about normal life right now. <laughs> now you can check out Mr. Petey Auto Detailing, Mobile Car Washes Detail and Paint Correction at www.mrpdetails.com or on Instagram at Mr. Petey Details. The links there. Chester County. You know, Board of Elections, receptionist or whatever, operator. No, it doesn't look like it's a uh, mayoral election year in Dobbs Ferry. I'm like, are you sure? Yeah, positive note. Okay. Call back a few weeks later, like, let's say October ish. Mm. Elections in November. And same thing, different lady. No, it's, it doesn't look like it's a mayoral election year for Dobbs Ferry. No, it's okay. November 7th, whatever, 11th, whatever day, election day was, rolls around, I'm in the library, you know, 9 a.m., doing my civic duty, looking at the ballot. Mm. Son of a bitch! Oh. And everybody looks at me, and they're like, uh, one of the poll workers comes over, sir, is everything okay? I'm like, ah, it's just another stolen election. And everybody's like, oh, God, we gotta get one of these. <laughs>
I'm like, no, no. You know, I, I spoke to people twice at the, the Board of Elections, and they said, this wasn't a mayoral election year for Dobbs Ferry. Why am I seeing this here now? Oh, I don't know where you got that information from, sir. I'm like, Literally, I called up the fucking county office, and both both times they said it wasn't. Well, no, so fine. Mr. Petey was robbed of an election. Yes. Yes. He didn't even get he to been, run. He they took the first dog mayor in Westchester County. He would have made history. And they took him out before he had the chance. Mm-hmm. That's how it works, right? Yep. Corruption. One way or another. Yep. So Vincent Rosilio, Democrat, unopposed, still mayor to this day. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh, Mr. P I mean, I did a write-in though, and yeah. a lot of people did a write-in. Yeah. I never got the totals of how many actually wrote in Mr. Mr. Petey. Petey. Yeah. Mr. Petey we runs had, for mayor. We had stickers and everything. Yeah. yeah. Good boy. Great choice. <laughs> <laughs> he was going to bring a dog park to Dobbs Ferry. Oh yeah. It's a very dog-friendly town. There's like everybody has a dog. Yeah. Uh, no dog park. Closest None. one was uh, I don't know that Hartsdale. Good ways. Yeah. We, by we I mean he probably would have used eminent domain. Probably would have uh, acquired a lot of property for this dog park. You know, mm -hmm. people would have lost their homes, but still, it's for a greater good. <laughs> like Robert Moses. <laughs> <laughs> And we were out to have a Starbucks one day, and he goes, yes, this cop walking in. They're like, he's definitely going to have, have the right answer. I'm like, okay. And I go, hey, excuse me, officer, could I ask you a question? And yeah, sure, what's up? And I go, what is a human right? Can you define for me what a human right is? And he just, like, stops in his tracks while he's mm. opening the door. He goes, ooh, that's a good question. Like, you can take your time to come up with an answer. There are, there's one right answer. There's mm -hmm. right answers along the right you know, spectrum. There's completely wrong answers. Right. And he goes, you know what? Honestly, I never really thought about that question before. Yeah. Oh, thank you. And I go, oh. <laughs> I'm like, dude, these are people who are supposed to be protecting your human rights and your civil liberties and yeah having the, there was no right never like, presented I, what a thought yeah experiment if, if you don't peter's know, great thought experiment if you don't know what a human right is how are you going to protect them yeah. that is a good with like these here rocky bluffs is a sharp sharp drop off just in that's i'm stuck okay there's a sharp that means that there's a brick boulder right there there's a sharp drop off. And then it just kind of like, kind of goes down. But those fish will hang at the edge. They'll come in too close. But what I'll do a lot of times is, I'll cast it like, like parallel, somewhat out. So when I kind of work it in, it might pass the fish or something. But then I'll take cast off. Not just, just cast anywhere. Enjoy. You had it right when you said, what did you say over there? Mind numbing or mind relaxing, something like My that. My mind just turns off. I'm just focused on mm. relaxing. Yeah, that's what it's. Yeah, you got it exactly. And if you're fishing and it's not like that, you're not fishing right. Let's see. The fish were on off today, but we're definitely gonna give it till sunset, right? Give it till sunset, Peter. At least. Yeah. Because we know that there's weeds down there. Actually, they'll warm up the water. You got him. Bring him in. Bring him in. Awesome. You got him. You got him. Oh. Got hold. That was all right. Fishing is just a big gamble sometimes. It really is. But you got the point, though, when you sort of relaxing or relax, decompress, off, decompress, mind off. Yeah. Try again. Try again. So, what do you think, Peter? Had so far, I'm you had a couple this. shots, right? I'm enjoying this. 
That's great. I mean, for what the, the fishing, I'd say it's, it's a, just a tough day, I can tell. But you had the shot at the other lake, right? And then you had the, sh the one here, you saw it, right? Yeah. Saw there was a nice one, too. I, I seen it for, I started a yellow hollow run over. <laughs> but yeah, definitely do again. Yeah, a few more casts. Yeah. Uh, no, I mean, what, you know, another day. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Oh, okay. yeah. Uh, definitely, uh, yeah. Oh, Let yeah. I'm, All right. I'm getting my $25 worth out of that uh, permit there. <laughs> and, uh, all right, Pete. Well, uh, tell Jimmy and Nancy I said hi. Tell Jimmy and Nancy I said hi. I will. <laughs> okay. Well, we still got time, so maybe we'll get something. <laughs> These, they got teeth. This is not my fish. This is Jerry's fish. <laughs> they're, they're keepers. This is a keeper too. But I like to let them go. There we go. That is a... Wow. That's a chain pickle. Oh, they're slimy. Should, you know when you handle fish the best thing to do is just handle them the less you can yeah but you know you, you knew you're getting started i wanted to see, see them but yeah. you what i would do is if i was doing it myself i might bring them up to the bank here and get the the hook out or something like that yeah. so he was right in there exhilarating he was over there yeah you want to try that one yeah okay i was gonna say i, I kind of feel that like was, maybe going back to this one that, that big one was that was yeah i said let me try the one you were you know, there's some weeds on there and stuff but I just cast it out. I let it sink. I just gave it a couple, you know, like you were doing, just get it to the bottom, give it a couple cranks. Give it a shot here. We still got some light. I was hoping that Peter had uh, picked out, pulled out, uh, got to see the fish. But he did, uh, he had a couple nice hookups. So that was good. He got the feel, the sensation of, uh, you know, catching a fish. So I would get it out the next time. But we got to see a nice pick roll. Um, we got the really good idea of fishing which is great and uh we'll definitely do again thanks for watching and uh we'll see you next time go fish a little more again